back in Portland today. Good Eats. Uh, we're trying to pretend it's spring. I mean, it's trying to be spring. We're talking <laughs> barbecue season. Look yeah. at these steaks. Look at so this thing. What's the secret to making some good meat? <laughs> Corey Hoekstra, who's the executive chef up at a, a at the Michael Jordan Steakhouse up there, and he joins us. And my first thought is, you need Who a can 20 eat this pound thing? steak. I mean, it, it's it's gigantic. <laughs> it's supposed to be for two. It's people. perfect for two it's people. It's never for two people. So is it? <laughs> I want to say it's going to be more difficult for me at home to cook a steak properly that that is that thick than opposed to something thinner. Sure. True. It it's there's no difficult way to cook steaks. So. Like I said, you want to keep it at room temperature. And Corey, your first tip though, so we don't get overwhelmed with all of this. Yes, yeah. I'm all already overwhelmed. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So what do you mean That's by right. that exactly? So do one or two different proteins so they all cook at the same temperature for the same amount of time. Okay. Um, make your sauces, make your salads, make your condiments and sides ahead of time. So this way when you're grilling, you're having fun. You're not making it yeah, a, you don't an have, ordeal. You're not stressing out. Yeah. Speaking of sauces, you brought a sauce. What did you bring us I today? I did. I brought our version of a chimichurri uh, from chimichurri. the steakhouse. Okay. Um, we put it on one of our uh, Painted Hills ribeyes. We're we talking right here? That's correct. And what's in okay. that? Um, some roasted garlic, uh, red bell peppers, four or five different herbs, some sherry vinegar, and uh, olive oil. Could Rod like just take what? a little bite of it? Would Absolutely. Would it still taste good plain? Absolutely. <laughs> so, but you were marinating this like the, the, the night before and putting it in a Ziploc bag? Or what, what are you doing? So we just make it ahead of time. Usually give it a night to marinate and let the flavors incorporate. So a night, okay. Yeah. And how long do you, should you marinate your meat? Oh wow, it smells good. I always wonder, mm. like do you do it for hours ahead of time? For for a steak, I don't marinate my steaks. Well, for chickens, for, I'll do it the night before. For chicken, then, yep. the night yeah. before. I'll do it okay. the night before. So the steak you want to be dry, right? Don't, don't, don't some people take a paper towel and they actually use that to get the oh. moisture out of it? Yeah, yeah, so this way it cooks evenly throughout the entire meat. Okay. okay, let's talk about equipment we need. So for starters, a clean grill and then a thermometer. What do we need from each of these? Why the clean grill? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> clean grill, you know, you don't want flare-ups, obviously. Um, with a the thermometer, it's a cook's best friend. So you're looking for, for proper temperatures. Uh, Google is your best friend, too, okay. if you want to know proper cooking temperatures. So with that thermometer, if I Google it, it will give me a temperature where I assume it's still rare. I assume it's medium rare. Is that what I'm looking Correct. for? Correct, yeah. Okay. And you get a good thermometer like I have up here for 30, 40 bucks. Okay. And right. let's talk a little bit more about cooking the meat. How do you get the perfect steak? I guess it depends on preference. If right. If you want it rare or well done, but how do you recommend it? Right. Uh, like I said, we start with room temperature, so you cook it on a, on a high, high heat grill. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and you'll leave it alone. Don't mess with it. Don't fiddle with it. So it gets that nice caramelization. Turn it, do the same exact thing. Depending on your temperature, you can finish it in the oven. You can finish it on a cooler side Ooh, of the grill. Finish it in the oven. So oh, right. this way you're not burning it. So I've always heard, now feel free to tell me when I'm totally wrong here. I've always heard you want to cook a, a really great steak on high heat, like 600 degrees on my grill. Yeah. True or false? Yeah, that's great. That we, use a, we use a 1500 degree broiler at our, oh, or at our wow. restaurant. So. Now this is that's for searing, like literally a couple of minutes on each side, or what am I doing at that I temperature? Do, I do three to four minutes on each side, okay. and then if it's well done, I'll finish it in the oven. Medium well finished in the oven. Medium rare and medium, we pull it, let it rest. So you let those juices redistribute now, throughout the meat. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you ever read the manuals? Be honest. No, of course not. <laughs> okay, Corey's going <laughs> to tell you why that's wrong. <laughs> oh, Corey, come on. <laughs> the first thing they say, so bring the grill outside. I promise. So I do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, there's different safety procedures. There's different ways to make sure that you're not harming yourself or others. Sure, that, so. that makes sense. That makes sense. So I'm fascinated by the oven bit because I don't know. Raise your hand if you just cook your steak on the grill and you pull it off and you eat it. But you say I no do. for a great. You can do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if I pull it off into the oven. That's allowing it to get a little extra juicy? Am I sealing the juices in more? Yeah, so the sear seals the juices in, and then when you finish it in the oven, you're cooking it to the temperature that you prefer. So this way it's not charring on the outside, it's not burning. Oh, uh, I got so. you. Okay. Yeah. okay. You guys right. have an event okay. coming up, so tell us about that. That is on uh, April 5th at 6.30. What type of event? Yeah, correct. We're doing a, uh, we're calling it the Master Beef Dinner. Um, we're going to do different cuts of beef. We're going to show grass-fed, uh, corn-fed, wet-aged, dry-aged. We have to go real quick. But Difference between grass fed and, and corn fed. Which do you prefer? I prefer grass fed. It's a little more gamey. Um, a little more gamey. It's, it's got it's, it's excellent proteins. It's, the structure of it is just Toughness, fantastic. tenderness, the same for both? It's a little tougher um, when you the cook it to a, a higher temperature. Okay. But it's a perfect medium rare. Okay. okay. All right. We'll see them at the A. Linnae Casino and Michael Jordan Steakhouse. Corey, thanks for being here Thank today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. You. Cheers. Let's Thank talk you.